And such were some of you. But ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11. Have you ever compared your sins to someone else's sins? We know we should not do so, but we often fall into this comparison trap. However, we know that God extends forgiveness to all those who sin even those who have sinned differently than you. Even those with the dirtiest sins may be washed clean. Those who place their trust in Jesus Christ and seek his forgiveness will be forgiven and sanctified through his name. The next time you are tempted to judge someone else's past against your own, resist. We have all been justified through Christ. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The scripture is often quoted by Christians especially in places like social media. Sometimes you will even see the scripture saved as the screensaver on a cellular device. It is an essential scripture for anyone who truly believes that God has planned and ordained their lives. We know that when we come into this world our parents have plans for us. Every parent has a dream for his child. We also know that sometimes children don't follow the dreams of their parents, but they follow their own hearts. The scripture brings great comfort in times when we struggle. It brings us hope in times when there is a calamity in our lives. It reminds us that God's plan is only good. His plan is only to prosper us. His plan is to give us abundant life. We can rest assured that the plan that God has made for us will always be the best plan. A plan that gives us a hopeful future. Devotion topic is, please forgive me. This Psalm of David is considered to be his plea to God to forgive him for his sin in taking the wife of Uriah the Hittite, because he lusted after her, and then making sure that Uriah was killed in battle. I'm sure that none of you are guilty of such a crime, but, even if one of us were, God can forgive us. David was king of Israel at this time, and his reign did not end because of this offense. In fact, even though the child that he had conceived through his sin died, Bathsheba becomes the mother of Solomon, and the Davidic line continues. Although we might not be guilty of such serious sin, who of us can say we have never sinned? David recognized his sinfulness and pleaded with God for mercy and forgiveness. We too need to recognize our sins, take responsibility, and beg God for mercy and forgiveness. Lent is a good time to add an examination of conscience to your nightly prayers. This gives us a daily review of how we are doing. What opportunities have I taken advantage of in which I could show God's love? What chances did I miss, or totally reject? We need to remember that sins can be of omission to. The more aware we are of our behavior, the more the chance is that we will do the right thing. In college, I studied Russian, and from the first month our teacher made us write down a sentence in Russian, even if it was only to say it's cold, but, the need to do the assignment meant that every day we needed to think in the little bit of the language we were learning. It's the same with the rest of our lives. If we are watching for opportunities to do the right thing, we are less apt to do the wrong. If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it. And remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.